Oh, we are in an abandoned house in Chukurjuma uh, uh, that's been abandoned for like 15 years. And we know what we know about the house is that its uh, first owners was, uh, were Greek, and then it changed ownership three times, and now it's uh, owned by a family uh, who is in Turkey, the Turkish family. So when you enter the house, you see a ceiling uh, that's carved out of wood that shows uh, signs uh, which people have marked while um, they were um, probably leaving the country or leaving uh, their possession. In this building I installed two, two rooms, two ceilings, and on the ceilings there are um, cards, uh, signs and symbols that is not easy to read, that's not no, it's more enigmatic science, and uh, and I found them on web forums uh, uh, of uh, people who are looking for treasure uh, in mainly Eastern Anatolia, and and you know trying to access uh, some gold or some uh, you know something that they can find under the ground from previous civilizations. Here in this country, not only the Turks did, but there were a lot of people who had to be in this place, forced to go out uh, and leave their home, leave their positions, and you know, with the hope that they would come back. So they put these signs on these stones, and and it's all about like um, uh, what a sign can uh, transmit. You know, it's. It's all about a, a language that we cannot hear anymore. It's like we see it, it tells you something, but it, it tells you something, but you don't have an access to it. So it's, it's kind of mute in a way, it's kind of silence, but it's speaking all this, um, all this violence that happened, and also, again, still a violence that's happening, the looting of these people's houses.